Welcome to a brand new episode of Polycap, India's number one cable and wireless company Dream Home Season 6. Today in this episode, we are going to show you yet another beautiful home. But before that, let me introduce to you our panel of judges. With us on our show, we have Anuj Gopakumar, the Chief Architect of Kumar Group. We also have Sudha, Architect and Interior Designer of Swasti. Today we have a house from Kanur and it's called the KK House. So let's take a look at this beautiful home. Welcome to Polycap, India's number one cable and wires company Dream Home Season 6. Today, uh, just behind me is KK House and uh, it's in uh, Kedanyi in Kanur district. So let's uh, go inside and find more about this house. KK House is a composition of uh, traditional and uh, contemporary style. You can see terracotta uh, style roof has been used, multiple roofing has been used, pergola has been used to a very large extent and uh, talking about the surrounding as soon as we ins enter inside the house. As we step inside the compound, a lush green pasture uh, surrounds the house. There are two gates, one is uh, for like if anyone wants to walk inside, a small gate is provided and another one is for, uh, is for the vehicles. Paving tiles has been used all around the area. Uh, a car parking is also provided. From the courtyard, we have an open space and then we end up over here. This is the family living room area. Uh, just uh, for the corners, they have kept the space very open. No walls has been used so that a very huge space can be explored. Uh, specifically, upholsteries has been used like a contrast color has been used. As for the walls, texture painting has been used. The ceiling has been kept very simple with no false ceilings at all. And for the floors, they have used a combination of tiles and colors. And then uh, a TV stand has been created on one side and on top of it, there's a small partition has been done from which uh, we can easily see uh, the staircase going upside. The house has a very open co concept and as you can see uh, from the living area straight away is the dining hall again it's open everywhere a staircase leads on top on the top uh, section and then a uh, false ceiling has been created and uh, here after after a certain part we have a double story like the ceiling extends to the roof again there are pergola structures to uh, ease the sunlight inside the room again pergolas are, have also been used on the walls and uh, below that we have a huge window Again, to ease the pass of sunlight, an uh, eight-seater table has been used for the dining section. I'll start with you, Anuj. How do you think the uh, exteriors and the landscape look? This house has a driveway actually driving up to the house is an elevated level with uh, some landscape done on sites, so basically green lawns done on the areas which is not paved. So there's a grey paving and the green landscape around it with very plain landscape which has been done, no, nothing much basically the lawn. I think in one of the areas they've added some kind of a tree or something. So some amount of thought could have been drawn in bringing some flowering plants or flowing plants to make the, the, the whole experience of driving up to the house look good. Uh, the house at is, as it is, it's a white house with a lot of grey uh, stone cladding. Um, again, very monotonous stone cladding has been done, light grey. Uh, but it's uh, not a natural stone, it's basically a tile. So it's a repetitive design again, I've been talking about this a lot. If you're trying to do imitate stone or something or clad it with stone, try to be as natural as possible. If not, there are a lot of other ways to actually make the house look nice. And uh, the windows again, which is again, I've talked about again, it's a great tone house with wooden window finishes. So white window finish would have looked nice. All right. And so the over to you. Yes, true. This is a typical what we call the modern and Kerala traditional architecture put together. 
you see those different forms of slope roofs, small, small slope yeah. roofs all over the house. But the proportion is neat and uh, simple enough. Uh, there is a lot of uh, small, small elements uh, that add up to the whole house. It's time for us to listen to your scores. So, what? how much have you rated the exteriors of this home? I have given it a 17. 17 on 25 and you? 17. 17 and for the interior? 16 on 25. 16 on 25 and you? 17. 17 on 25. The color lighting and decor on 16 on 25. 16 on 25 and for you? 16. 16 again and the last aspect, the value for money, how much have you rated that? 17 on 25. 17 on 25 and you? 16. 16 on 25. Now it's the grand total for Anand is 66 on 100. For Sudha again at 66 on 100 and for the public it is 33 on 50 which gives you a grand total of 165 on 250.